live from Toronto, Canada, it's theCUBE, covering Blockchain Futurist Conference 2018. Brought to you by theCUBE. Okay, welcome back everyone. Live here in Toronto, Canada, Ontario for Untraceable Presents Blockchain Futurist Conference. Two days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. Uh, we've been here going, going full throttle. A lot of great content, of course, put on by Untraceable. We have Maya Akabari, who's the partner of Untraceable, the people behind the event, Tracy and team. Great to have you on. Yeah, thank thanks you so for, much. Thanks Very for joining exciting. us. So, talk about Untraceable, because you know, people want to know what is going on with Untraceable. The events are amazing. Polycon, we've been to two of them. Polycon and here. Just great production, great vibes. Uh, people love it. The feedback from attendees to the sponsors and are, this is a friendly community, There's people are approachable. Yeah, for sure. So uh, at Untraceable, you know, we, we pride ourselves on doing a lot of firsts. We did Canada's first Bitcoin Expo. We did the first Ethereum event in the world. We, then we did Polycom, which was the first security tokens conference in the world. So through that journey, we really learned a lot about how to bring the community together and, and bring them together in a way we can actually get that value, that ROI, that networking, right? So what we pride ourselves on in the Futurist Conference was that we wanted to talk about this space and how it's exploding and what the future of this space looks like in all these different industries that are going to be disrupted, right? So this was our, you know, our dream to bring a mega conference to Canada. This is our hometown, Toronto. And, uh, and we wanted to have the ability to bring the entire community from investors to students to, uh, to ex sponsors and expo holders. I mean, when we first tried to do this conference, a lot of people said it couldn't be done to bring all those different people together. But we found a way in this space, because it's such a unique space, and it's not a convention center, to make a spot for every type of attendee and something for everyone and get that value that you can have at this event. Talk about the space here, it's, it's not a convention hall. Yep. It's a mega nightclub yep. with a mega sound system, yep. um, outdoor patio. What's the theme of the space? How, what, yep. how did you guys do this? What happened? Yeah, you know what, like we've always loved the show, right? And we thought that that's maybe something that's missing in crypto is that you go to a lot of these hotels, you go to a lot of conventions, don't get me wrong, we do those, those type of events as well, but the, the grandeur and the show on stage is not there to highlight to people. Why we chose Revel Entertainment Complex, nobody ever does a conference really in here, but we saw the potential of using a $50 million sound and audio stage to actually drive people's stories, people's companies, and get them in front of investors and, and really talk about what's going to change the future. So talk about the uh, Futurist program here, because again, I love the vibes, yeah. people are cool. You have investors, you have builders, entrepreneurs, all coming together. What were some of the talk tracks? What were some of the things that are highlights? Could you share some of the highlights of the event in terms of the talk tracks and, and the content? Yeah, for sure. So I think we've had some great uh, multi-discipline type uh, talks. Uh, but you know, it's highlighted by having some really great thought leaders in the space, like Charles Hoskinson, uh, Anthony Diorio, uh, Ryan Taylor of Dash, uh, and as well, we had an amazing panel on mass adoption last night, led by Larry King. You know, he's a legend. Uh, you know, we had Al Bergio of Digital Bits and Matthew Rozak, Justin Wu of Gear Blockchain on that panel, um, and Charles Hoskinson was also on that panel, and it was riveting, right? It was riveting seeing guys that you know, talking about what they think is the future in so many different areas of this industry, right? So we've been at two events, Polycon and here. Again, talk about first. You yeah. we were the first ones to do Cube Live Broadcasting, ESPN of Crypto oh, hey. at, at a crypto event. So congratulations, wow. we love wow. working with you. But I'm impressed by the community, right? Talk about what's next. What are you guys doing in Untraceable? Yeah. How do people join your community? How do people get involved? Yeah. What events are coming? Yeah. What's going on with Untraceable? How do you engage? Yeah, so Untraceable, we have a whole year of lineup of events coming up. Uh, how you get engaged with us, you go to untraceableinc.com. You can fill out a, get part of our newsletter that goes out weekly. And part of that newsletter, we tell you what's coming up and where we're coming up. What I want to talk to you about today though is Loyalty Live. And Loyalty Live is our next venture. It's in October, from October 16th to 18th. Uh, it's in Chicago at the Marriott downtown. And what it is is like another first. This is the world's first blockchain loyalty conference. It's very specific. We're bringing in big brands like Hertz, Walmart, as well to meet with all these new blockchain entrepreneurs that have never seen uh, you know, this type of like 
this type of technology before, right? It's bringing different worlds together, and we were able to do that here at, at Futurist in a multi kind of faceted way. But at Loyalty Live, it's going to be industry specific. If you heard a lot of our talks like yesterday, you'll understand that the biggest disruption that's going to happen at blockchain is going to be industry specific blockchains. And this loyalty piece is just ripe for disruption. If you've had a loyalty point on any program, you'll know right away that it's been a hassle to you. It's big money too. <laughs> big money, money industry Huge to take down a trillions. <coughs> you guys are first movers, yeah, pioneers. Of course, of course. And, and we pride ourselves on being pioneers. When people are zigging, we want to be zagging. Yeah. I think a lot of time you hear that everywhere. So we, we do pride ourselves on that and we always have something else coming up that's going to be the first. Meyer, thanks for coming on theCUBE and taking the time. I know you're going to go back on stage, but I want you to um, share um, something to the audience <laughs> that they might not know about Untraceable, that they should know about. What's the, what's, what is the DNA of the company? You know, the DNA of the company is we have 15 staff, we have 98% women on our team, we have a woman CEO, we have trailblazers that are like very involved in the crypto space, not from an event perspective, but lead a lot of crypto projects themselves. And we're professionally event designed, so we love to take on challenges that can transform a space into something that we really dream of, right? And that's what Futures was all about. It was a, it was a dream that we put together and it really came to fruition. You guys make it fun, informative, engaging, great community, congratulations. We're going to bring Tracy back when she gets her voice. Yep. Thanks for coming on, appreciate Thanks the time. Much. Great to see you. Thank you. The Cube here at Untraceable presents Blockchain Futurist, a conference connecting the dots of the future, bringing everyone together to figure out and how to move as a community forward, make money, have fun, and create relationships. It's theCUBE bringing you live coverage. Stay with us for more coverage after this short break.